It was the hardest abseil I've ever done. I've done 14, and that was quite the hardest one. For one thing, the rope was very heavy. We'd had rain here in the morning, so that made the rope heavy. And then, of course, with that wind keep coming round, it really wasn't very enjoyable this time. It looked like you were blowing about a bit as well. A couple of times it looked like the wind was blowing you away from the tower. It was, yes, yes. I was sort of on the corner and it came whipping rain there occasionally. But, uh, yes, I enjoy doing it. And, of course, the main reason why I do the Spinnaker Tower is because I like getting donations for uh, a charity. It's called the Rowan's Hospice at Waterlooville in Hampshire. They do a wonderful job there. They take people in with life-threatening illnesses, treat them and help their families, and they don't charge them a penny. And people call you, so I'm told, when they see you pass, and they call you Daring Doris. That's right, they do, yes. You're quite cool about that. You must quite like that. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? A lot of people at your age w- would would want to just probably sit down, Doris, and take it easy. What is it that keeps spurring you out there to do these absents? Oh, I like to keep on the move. I do gardening, grow vegetables and fruit and so on, which I give to my elderly neighbours. I keep chicken so I can give them the eggs. I take the dogs for walks. I, I, I like to keep on the move. Yeah, no, you sound you're really fit and healthy. I mean, the day after it, the day like today, does anything ache? Is anything a bit sore? Or are you still in tip-top health? No, I'm fine, really. I've got a stiff shoulder because the rope was so heavy and uh, a little bit achy in the legs, but apart from that, I'm fine. Yeah, nothing a hot bath can't solve. Oh, that's right. Are you planning to do any more, Doris? Oh, hopefully, yes.